Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the skip function on Power Automate. So we're going to be starting with an array, but we're also going to be using a string as it uses both collections and strings for this function. So let's start with our collection example. We've got a names array of Joe Jackson Meg, and we're going to pass that names array into skip. And then we're going to use a number of two because we're going to skip the first two objects. So we're going to skip Joe and we're going to skip Jax. And then we're going to get a return of Meg. So what happens when we use this with a string? Well, if we have a name variable of flow Joe and we pass it into skip and we use the digit of four, it's going to skip the first four characters. So F L O W and we're going to get a return of Joe. Okay, so that's how you use it. Let's see how it works on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate and as you can see, I've got a manual trigger here and I've got a names array which I've created that has 10 names in it. And then I've got a string that I've created that has flow Joe. Now we're going to be using the skip function in three different ways. We're going to be using it for two skips, five skips and seven skips. So let's just have a look at what this does. So as you can see here, we've got the skip function and we're passing in the array and then we're passing in the digit of two. So what this is going to do then is it's going to go through our names and it's going to skip the first two. So we're expecting the skip function two to show Taylor to begin with and then so on the five skips five and seven skips seven. And in terms of the string, it does something similar, except instead of objects, it's just jumping characters. So as you can see, we've got Flo Joe here and this one, we're going to be skipping, passing in the name string and skipping two. So we'll skip the F and L. So we're expecting O W J O E to come back as well as we'll skip five. Um, so we'll expect O E here and then we'll skip seven and we're expecting nothing back because there are seven characters in Flo Joe. So let's actually take this for a spin then. Okay, so we've just run our flow and it's run successfully. Let's see what we get back from our array. So we know we Jacob, Emily and Taylor are the first three. So we're expected to skip Jacob and Emily and we start with Taylor. And there you go, you can see that Taylor is the third there. We've skipped the first two and then we've taken everything after the first two skip. And then we skip five, so we end up with Jax, Sarah, Madison, etc. And then we skip seven and we only have Madison, Hannah, and Nicholas left. So let's have a look at this on the string then. So obviously we've got Flo Joe, which is a total of seven characters. If we skip the first two, we end up with just Ojo, A O W J O E. And then if we skip five, we end up with just OE. And then if we skip seven, we end up with nothing because there is nothing after the seventh character. And that is how you use skip for both objects and strings on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.